do you formulate policy? What is your uh, your sort of method, if you like? Who's involved and how do you do that? Yeah, so for the last uh, probably up to nine months, we meet on a Tuesday and a Wednesday night. Uh, we actually have, I've given all my 34 MPs uh, portfolio responsibilities uh, because I actually want them actually out engaging with the sector, listening to the sector, getting out of Wellington, talking to what the problems are. We expect to see very good problem definition and then they come into a, a group and we kick it around for an hour or two and we might do three or four of those sessions as actually we perfect it and actually get the policy thinking straight. Uh, and you know they come with a pro proposition and a proposal. Uh, we then rip it apart and say what, what's good, <laughs> bad or otherwise about it. Uh, they go away uh, and refine it again and we'll do it again several times mm. in order to get to a place that we know we've actually got something that's useful and pragmatic and practical and implementable. We have listened really carefully to what's going on for New Zealanders. As I said last year, you know, I leave Wellington on Thursday, on, on Thursday mornings. I go to towns up and down this country, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. You talk to you know, everyday New Zealanders and what they're wrestling with. And those are those big issues. The cost of living crisis is really real. We've got a 30% growth in violent crime, 40% growth in retail crime. I'm, I'm prepared to try new things to get outcomes and deliver better outcomes. I'm not happy to sit there and have a ram raid happen in New Zealand every 10 hours sure. and us to say that's the new normal. When I look at programs, as I said, like LSV, when I look at the work of community organisations, Turn Your Life Around in Otara, Topo Pathways, amazing organisations, incredible work by incredible social workers, and then I talk to the young people that have been on those programs, which I've done, spent four hours with three Ram Raiders doing exactly that, <coughs> it is transformational. We want community organisations embedded in these, in these academies, and we want them picking up and maintaining relationship with those young people when they come out. Education. Problem, you know, big, big problem. Yeah. How do we have 50% of our kids going to high school not where they need to be? How do we have 65% of our 15 year olds failing maths, reading, and writing tests? How do we have 15 year olds today? a year and a half behind where their parents were 20 years ago on maths. How come we've fallen out of the top 10 countries in the world? We have a great future ahead of us, but we need to access higher paying jobs by selling more value added products and services to the world. We can't do that if we don't get a world class education system in place.